Payne. My name's Peter Payne. Payne to name, this shows the game. Hello, I'm Peter Payne. What are you doing, Pete? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm practicing introducing myself, aren't I? What for? For blast off. Blast off! Multiplied by three billion equals anybody? A lifetime. During your life, your heart will pump approximately three billion times. How you spend those three billion pumps may depend on how hard you work here. So, pay attention. <laughs> For those boys who didn't wince, have no fear. Some boys develop faster than others. Sorry we're late, miss. You ran all the way. Good. Strip to the waist. Come on, Payne. It's not a punishment. If you weren't such a fine specimen, I wouldn't choose you. <coughs> Amanda Jeffs, hold Payne's heart. Can anyone get a knife? Jeffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, you fifteen. You make it down, Amanda. What does this tell us? It means that he fancies her. I don't. <laughs> it tells us Peter Payne is telling the truth. He has been running. The heart beats between 60 and 80 times a minute when resting and up to 150 times during exercise. And as the body relaxes, the heart gradually returns to between 70 and 80 beats, slows, winds down, and eventually stops. I can't, I can't find it, miss. Miss, I think I lost my heartbeat. It was a joke, Payne. Put his shirt back on. <laughs> what? You've got a disgusting blotch in your back. What sort of? Stop being a hypochondriac. Any questions? Yeah, miss. What's hypochondriac? Look it up, Payne. Look it up. Hyperbole hyphen hypnotism? Uh, hypo hypercourse hypochondria. State of causeless depression. Excessive anxiety about one's health. Oh, no. Right, Pete. Careful. Got a bit of back trouble as it is. It's all right, all right. Hope you're not getting nervy about Blast Off. Blast Off! And your impending TV stardom. No, I feel fine. How do I look? A bit peaky. If I were you, I'd skip lunch, go down behind the bike shed, strip off and catch a few rows. Eh? Hey? Some rows. Get a tan. Oh. Hey, Amanda. What? I was thinking of skipping lunch, stripping off down by the bike sheds, catch a few rows, get a tan. You want to, um, uh, what do you think? I think you're a pathetic little tit. Are you? You'll get cancer. Ever heard of the ozone layer? Hello? It's London. Wednesday, 5 o'clock. It's time to light the fuse and get in your bunker with Larry Frank for another score away edition of Blast Hi, I'm Larry 
Charlie Franks. Welcome once again to another rip-roaring round of Blast Off! <laughs> Let's meet this week's contestants. This week, the champions, Fatima. Hello. Robert. Hi. And Michelle. Hello. From Queen Elizabeth's Manchester. <laughs> Challenged by Peter. Hello. Stop scratching your back. Matthew. Uh, hi. And the very lovely Amanda. Hello, Mr. Franks. And don't be so sexist. Oh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> From Wendell Secondary School in London. I don't want you to cough it up, all right? Right. Right. Are we ready? Matthew, Wendell Secondary. Yeah, ready. I know this, I know this. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I did a school project on it last year. Great expectations. Yes. Mm. No. <laughs> Can't you keep your pupils under control? They're excited. They're spitting in my ear. It's quick fire question. Oh. Each contestant has three lives. Quick fire. You lose your lives and you're out. <gasps> and on blast off. <laughs> that means. <laughs> so fingers on the buttons. Let's play. Quick fire. Come on, concentrate. Who invented the first steam locomotive? Stevenson. Who starred with Catherine Hepburn in the film The African Queen? Happy Burger. What name is commonly given to the Seven Years' War? War with Roses. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Statue of Liberty. The Diet of Worms. Mm. East Berlin. Nuclear power, which I don't agree with. Stilton. Mm. Saturn. Mm. February. Mm. Tree bark. Atlantic Ocean. Mm. Toilet. Mm. Blue. Ipswich. Mm. Muhammad Ali. No, no, sorry. Mm. No, 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 no. There's a fly on the buzzer. Mm. A goat? 1066. 12 inch tongue. Tony Blackburn. <laughs> Slow. Mm. One life each. Here we go. Who assassinated John F. Kennedy in 1963? CIA. No, the answer I have on my card is Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah, but everyone knows it's the CIA. It's in the documentary last week. <laughs> there goes the lovely Amanda. <laughs> Two left, but only one will win today's star prize. <laughs> what is... Hypochondria. Fear of water? Ah, <laughs> oh, bless her. Peter, chance of a star prize. Hypochondria. Um, hypochondria. State of causeless depression, excessive anxiety about one's health. Is it working? Is it? What can you see? How your son knew the exact Oxford Dictionary definition for hypochondria, I'll never know. He gets his brains from me. <laughs> Don't you love, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I suggested that Peter makes a film for his end-of-term project. It's a marvellous, it's a marvellous idea, Pete. Marvellous. Wonderful. As long as he uses his camera responsibly. Well, of course I'll use it responsibly. You'll use it responsibly, won't you, Pete? Eh? Oh, yes. I'll use it responsibly. I'll grow up. Also, I was set up. The trajectory of the bullet proved it. <laughs> oh, 
what are we doing? That's private <laughs> things. You're not supposed to film private things. Like a virgin, <laughs> touched by the very first... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Give me my pizza, dude. <laughs> Calabanga! Oh, I think you put down my arm. <laughs> Oi, Pete, film this, right? Film this. Good, isn't it? What's that? It's arm that he's playing. Like a virgin, touched for the very first time. <laughs> like a You stole my mind! I want my brain back! It's a good bit coming up next. Who's that supposed to be? Arnie. Who? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, but he's got muscles, though. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Yes. Yes! Not in the house, Peter. Who's this supposed to be? Gone for Audrey. You're an absolute idiot. Right, Matthew, home. Oh, Ma. Home. You in bed and that off. Can I just be... Off! Hmm. You're the one that I, I was imagining that you would have done it. Since the white house.